Cystic fibrosis affects the respiratory system, causing recurrent infections which can go on to bronchiectasis, respiratory failure and ultimately death. The prevalence varies across Europe. It's probably most common in Ireland, at about 1 in 2,000, and very rare in Finland. Uh, but this is undoubtedly a common in inherited disease across Europe. There is much that can be done to improve the care of patients with cystic fibrosis in Europe with the current knowledge that we have. We don't need to wait for more medical research. Obviously more research needs to be done in a number of areas but we can make huge improvements here and now. The first thing is that newborn screening must be rolled out across Europe. We must have an end to mothers taking their sick babies, the doctor after doctor, nurse after nurse, the diagnosis being missed, and the mothers getting more and more frustrated as the children get iller and iller. We've got to have newborn screening. Cystic fibrosis care requires a multidisciplinary team, specialist nurses, uh, the physiotherapists, dietitians, psychologists, pharmacists, as well as the doctor. It is no good thinking that a single doctor can provide cystic fibrosis care. The next thing that must be improved is services for adults. Traditionally, cystic fibrosis was a paediatric disease. Cystic fibrosis was first discovered as a separate disease as recently as 1938. At that time, virtually all sufferers from cystic fibrosis died before their first birthday. Now, the norm is for cystic fibrosis sufferers to reach adult life and in parts of Europe there are actually more adults with cystic fibrosis than children. This is true, for example, for the United Kingdom. However, the development of specialist adult services has lagged behind. There are some really excellent adult clinics, superb adult physicians and adult multidisciplinary teams who do a fantastic job, but there are not nearly enough. Things have changed between the publication of the first white book and the, the, the current white book. There has been a gradual improvement in the application of standard therapies and I must stress again that, at, that we could achieve so much in Europe if just the same standard therapies that we know about were meticulously applied right across Europe. 